Health on a cross-country flight to San Jose. Baggage handlers have made a terrible mistake and placed the pet in an unheated cargo area. But they caught the mistake mid-flight. And our Don Sanchez joins us from San Jose International now with the story. Don? Yeah, you know, actually, it's a little bit controversial. And so some airlines are restricting pets during this hot summer. The extremes of weather in those cargo holds can be a factor. In this particular case, however, the owner of the dog is calling a United pilot a hero tonight. Dakota is right at home, king of his domain. But the ten-and-a-half-year-old Basenji is still traumatized when he sees this traveling case. The ordeal began with a mismarked luggage tag, but Mike Bell says he was assured the dog was on the plane with him. The guy who loaded it came up to the gateway, the, mm -hmm. and I asked him, "Did you log? Uh, did you put my dog in the plane?" He said, "Yeah, I just finished it. Don't worry about it." But apparently, that baggage handler had loaded the dog in the cold front cargo hold instead of the heated rear hold. Seven miles up, the dog would freeze to death. Halfway into the flight, a United supervisor back at Dulles spotted the mistake in some paperwork, and he radioed the captain, who called Bell to the front of the plane. He wasn't sure if he was alive or not. Um, if he we continued on San Jose, the dog would not have made it. Um, so he decided to divert the plane to Denver. And none of the other 60 passengers objected. For the next 45 minutes, Bell agonized over the fate of his pet. When they landed, the ground crew went immediately for the dog's crate. By the time I got to the front of the plane, the pilot had come out and said that they had to give him a thumbs up, that the crew said that you know, he, he's alive. Relief. Bell wanted to bring Dakota on board for the rest of the flight. The a supervisor said, no, it's against the rules. But the captain said, let's make an exception. But the pilot let me bring the, the dog on the plane. So I picked him up and carried him. And as soon as I got on, the, most of the passengers started clapping yeah. and, and cheering. So they were um, all into it as well. Bell has raised Dakota since he was a pup. He calls the dog his best friend. The ordeal has made some change. Well, he, when he sees my suitcase, he knows <laughs> I'm going somewhere. He just follows me around everywhere I go. He's like right behind, behind me. Yeah, yeah, Bell is crediting the captain and the crew tonight with compassion for what they did. And with all that delay, the plane was only 45 minutes late here. Maybe they should stop more often in Denver. Who knows? Uh, by the way, everybody on board the plane was allowed free drinks, and they got to see a second movie. That film was called My Dog Skip. Live at San Jose International Airport, Don Sanchez, ABC 7 News. Uh, that's quite a nice coincidence. Story, huh? Turned that out well. Very All right, Don, so. thanks very much. Kudos to that pilot for yeah, being so compassionate. Exactly. Well, Bob Hope orders from the hospital. We're